And I want to thank you all for attending this press conference. We'll definitely try to keep it brief and get you back to work. The Tri-State Barbecue Festival is a sanctioned barbecue cooking competition, and it's held here at the Houston County Farm Center the second weekend in April, which is April 12th and 13th. It's uh, sanctioned by the Florida Barbecue Association and features approximately 60 teams from around the southeast who are competing for about $11,000 in prize money. Additionally, the festival offers spectators the opportunity to come out and sample barbecue and barbecue-related products. And we also have a wide range of activities for families and, and really just everybody of all ages. Of course, the event would not be possible without help from our sponsors, and that includes our title sponsor, Coors Light. We've also been able to introduce new venues, music, and activities, thanks to some additional sponsors this year who I'd like to introduce to you. One of the newest activities that we're able to offer this year is the uh, addition of a barbecue sauce contest. And the winner of this sauce contest will receive $500. The contest is sponsored by 13th Colony Distilleries, and each sauce that's submitted has to include the use of 13th Colony Distilleries Southern Rye Whiskey in their sauce recipe. Here representing 13th Colony Distilleries is Dr. Gil Clemen, and he's going to speak a little bit about their involvement with the Tri-State Barbecue Festival and the sauce contest. Thank you, Carrie. Good afternoon. We're pleased to be part of the Tri-State Barbecue Contest. This is our first year, so you have to be gentle with us. On the other hand, I will say that uh, you have to use in the barbecue sauce recipe some of our product. We're featuring Southern Rye Whiskey. The thing is, we provide the Southern Rye Whiskey, so you don't have to go looking for it. We'll provide it. You will receive the Southern Rye Whiskey on Friday night, and you have to bring the barbecue sauce and the recipe back Saturday. We will be judged by professional, professional judges, and then the winner will receive from me a $500 check in return for which we get the recipe. The only thing I can tell you that's important is that you do not have to enter the barbecue, sauce, the barbecue contest to enter the sauce contest. We have limited the number of entrants into the sauce contest to 50. So see Carrie for an entry form, or go online and get an entry form so you're one of those 50 people. I look forward to seeing you all there and judging at the barbecue contest. Thanks, Gil. We're really excited about the sauce contest because I know if you've, any of you have been to the grocery store and you've seen, you know, Jack Daniels has a barbecue sauce, Jim Beam has a barbecue sauce. So obviously there's something to do with including whiskey in a barbecue sauce recipe that makes it taste good or at least makes you think it tastes good. So we're really happy to add the sauce contest this year and include the Southern Rye Whiskey in the sauce contest. Um, another new contest that we have this year is a kids cook. And the kids cook is for students aged 8 to 18 and they will be grilling hamburgers on Saturday morning here at the Farm Center and Tyndall Federal Credit Union has sponsored the kids cook. So we're excited to be able to include younger people who will be competing literally right alongside the professionals out there cooking for money. And there's $300 in prize money available in the kids cook. Many of the activities at the festival are free thanks to our sponsors. The, these free activities include an inflatable play area for children sponsored by a Five Star Credit Union, uh, free arts and crafts sponsored by Deal Max Auto, Dothan Mortgage Man, and Vincent Plumbing, Plumbing and Electric, a huge car so show sponsored by the New South Cruisers, and cooking demonstrations throughout the weekend sponsored by Charbroil and Bryant's Outdoor Equipment. Now, David Plunkett from the New South Cruisers is here to tell us about the car show and what we can expect on Saturday, April 13th. We've been involved in a lot of projects with Cary over the years. Uh, the last three years, we've been involved with the barbecue festival. We started out in the area between the buildings up here the first year and ran out of space. Last year, we moved down on the track down there. We ran out of space. So we're going to have about twice as much room this year. So the car show is one of the fastest growing car shows in this area. Um, every year, it gets bigger and uh, by multiples, so that's a good thing. Uh, we're gonna have uh, 26 categories of cars, 
were given awards for first, second, and third place. So there'll be about 80 trophies all together. Um, we're going to have, of course, like in most car shows, uh, the registration for the car show is like $20. We'll have 50-50 drawings. We'll have door prizes, uh, judging and stuff. And the judging is, and the awards are going to be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, Gulf Coast Motorsporting is going to be with us this year. They're going to take pick two cars out of the cars that's shown out there to feature in their magazines with nice articles on them. So that's real nice when you get a magazine involved in your car shows. Um, you can get there. We'll have signs out at the street where you can go to get into the to car show. Um, we're just real excited about it. It's, it's, our car shows have been big. This is going to be our I think the biggest car show that we've been involved in and every year it grows. So we're looking forward to doing it and we'll have a lot of cars there. We'll have everything from, oh gosh, Model A's all the way up through to the newer cars. Uh, we'll have pickup trucks, motorcycles, uh, just about everything on, on show down there. So we just urge everybody to come out and support us, bring your children, let them see some of the part of our history. And it's important to do that. So we're looking forward to seeing everybody there. Thank you. Thanks, David. The car show is really cool. It's one of my favorite parts of the barbecue festival, besides the barbecue itself, of course, just because these are cars that you don't see every day. These are cars you might never, ever see in a lifetime, except at a car show. So thank you, David, and the New South Cruisers for helping us put that on this year. Our host hotel for the event is the Hampton Inn Suites. And many people don't realize it, but hundreds of judges and teams and people from out of town come to this event each year. And uh, they stay over in our area hotels. And Mamie Bush from the area director of sales is here to tell us just a little bit about the impact that the, the barbecue festival makes and their involvement with the Tri-State Barbecue Festival. And, um, I am with the Hampton Inn and Suites here in Dothan. And I must say that once you've had a chance to smell it, eat it, see it, have fun at the activities and the car show. That's when you get a chance to come to the Hampton Inn and Suites and lay down and take a breather from all of that. Um, last year was our first year participating with the Tri-State Barbecue Festival and we could not ask for a better partner in Carrie Farrell and her organization. This year we are very excited. Um, we have an opportunity to see an enormous amount of judges and teams that are coming in for the area. We also have our regular guests who have now started booking reservations to stay over just to attend the Tri-State Barbecue Festival. So for us, um, we truly believe in partnering and we're very excited to be a part of this event this year. So again, when you need to lay down after you've had a chance to eat, smell it and all of that, don't forget to come to the Hampton Inn and Suites in Dothan. Uh, Tyndall, Tyndall Federal Credit Union, Jerry, did you want to say something about the kids cook? Okay, we covered it a moment ago, but I just didn't know if you had a comment. Okay, um, we do have, we have a lot going on at the Barbecue Festival. Of course, it's all on our website. There's also the little magazine, the newspaper that I handed you called The Barbecue Rag, and our partner, American Classifieds, is putting that out for us. We have 7,000 copies that are distributed throughout the Wiregrass area with all of that information about the festival. And uh, those are actually available at the gate as well on the day of the event. Something that we're very, very excited about featuring this year is our entertainment on Saturday night. On April 13th, we decided to feature a memorable show that would appeal to a more mature audience as well as to most Southerners. And we wanted something that would be entertaining as well as nostalgic and um, musical. And I think we've, we've captured that with our show, An Evening with George Wallace, Jr., Stories and Songs.